The next morning, I checked on my scorpion. Oh. They've eaten it, I think. Ah, oh, go on. There's lots of dinosaur distractions. I've seen no evidence at all of the giant claw. Perhaps this habitat's just too dense. Perhaps there's not enough herbivores for it to prey on. I've got a long way to go, but if I can get through there, maybe there's some more open habitat on the other side. I came out of the dense forest to this scrubbier habitat and I found our first real clue. I think this is the nest of the giant claw. It's been broken into, there's monitor lizards here, fossils have been found, and monitors in Africa, they break into crocodile nests. Perhaps that's what's happened here. But look at what I found inside. This must be the embryo of Therizinosaurus, the giant claw. Even as a little baby inside the shell, you can see the claws there at the front of the body. But if this is a nest site, it's really curious. Because look at this. This is herbivore dung. It's not carnivore dung. Look inside there, there's pine needles, bits of cycad. It smells like a herbivore. And I can't understand why this is all scattered around here, around the nest site of the giant claw, which, which must be a predator. I'd been tracking for almost two days, yet I wasn't any nearer to understanding my quarry. There was nothing else but to continue my search through this extraordinary...